All right, so for this part, we're gonna take, we're gonna be working on the lift, and you're gonna be, you're gonna have popsicle sticks that are marked green and one that aren't marked green. You can take two of the ones that aren't marked green, and you're gonna make an X. So the way you wanna do it, you wanna place one of them on top of the other, and one this shape. See right here, the top one is facing that way. Next, you're gonna take one of your wires. Yeah, I'll just pull it out. And what you're first gonna do, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna make a little bend. And you're gonna wanna pinch it so you can make a little loop like that. You're gonna take your X, you know, keep it the same, and you're gonna push it through. You're gonna push it all the way through. So the pinch is right there. Go on the other side, you're gonna bend it down like so. And then, like on the other one, you're gonna wanna make a loop so it doesn't come out. So if you're gonna press it down, voila. All right, so once you finish with that one, you can do the same thing to the other pairs, and it's gonna look like this. You have six pairs, each of them together with the, tied together with the wire, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate them up. The top one, you want to make it an X. You want all of them to have the same pattern with the same popsicle stick on the top and the same popsicle stick at the bottom. Yep, and when you tell you to pay attention, you're gonna be putting them together. So keep in mind that the bigger holes, you can see how they're much bigger than the other ones. You want them to be on the outer parts, the edges. See how these are here? These are over here, the larger ones, the larger ones are over here, and the larger ones are over here. Keep that in mind. All right, so for the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be connecting our axes. And what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna use the same pinch method. You know, you're gonna make your little loop de loop. All right, there we go. And what you can do, you're gonna connect the axis. Now we're gonna take the the inner parts. So here's the outer parts, and here's the inner parts. We're gonna take the inside parts, and we're gonna connect it with this one. For this one, you want to take the right one and place it at the bottom. And for this part, you're gonna place it on the top like that. You want it like that. So, first we're going to connect this one. Same, same method. Boom. Then make sure that this one. It's on the bottom, like that. Oops. It's on the top. Remember, same pinch pattern. It's not the best, but it does the job. So then you're gonna get this part. Okay. okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing with the next piece. You're gonna set it up, make sure that the pattern is still the same. You wanna put this one on top and this one at the bottom. Boom. Repeat the pattern. That's very important. And the completed version will look like this. See how smoothly it opens and closes? That's why you're going to keep the pattern the same. It's very important. All right, so for the next part, we're going to be hot gluing your pop, your shish kebab sticks into the lift. 
we're going to, you're gonna take it are we glued in here with hot glue and I'm not sure how to do it but first you're gonna take your short one leave the big one by itself we're not using it yet we're gonna stick it into see these holes right here you can stick it into the hole make sure that there's some space outside and then we're gonna glue it be very careful with it. Make sure that the hot glue has been going for at least five minutes so it's nice and hot. Make sure you don't have your fingers underneath because they will drip. There it is. Make sure it's nice and glued. Make sure they glue all over. And then you get it on the inside as well. Now you're gonna let it dry. I did the work on the piece of cardboard, so make sure that you, if it's possible, make sure you put it in a non flammable area so it doesn't catch blaze and it doesn't mess up your desk. Okay, so what we did here, you're gonna do to the other ones, like so, and you're gonna have it like this. Make sure that you don't do it to the long one because we're gonna do that in a bit. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna be we're gonna be combining both sides to the left, and we're gonna be huggling them to the sticks as well. So you're gonna place the one that you've already done, like that with the, the sticks sticking out. You're gonna take the other one, and you're gonna put combine them. Make sure that you hold this one correctly, that way it doesn't wobble as much, and then just push it down. Do it for the other ones. Take your hot glue gun and you're gonna glue them. So, take this one over here. Make sure you don't have your fingers underneath it. Glue it to the as best as you can. Fixing this up. There we go. Make sure they're on a similar level. You don't want one like super short. Oh, there we go. All right. And now you're gonna let it dry for a bit. All right. Now that a couple minutes have passed, nice and cool, you're gonna take it and you're gonna grab the top and the bottom and carefully flip it towards you. Like that. And then you can take your hot glue gun and you're gonna hot glue the, the other sides of the ones you glued. So the bottom one right here. Make sure it's nice and spread. And then you're gonna carefully put back your glue gun. And then you're gonna wait for this one to dry. Okay, so for the next part, we're gonna take your long stick and your lift. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this to the missing holes. You're gonna carefully put it in. So and push it in. If you need to rotate it, rotate it to make it go even easier. You keep pushing to make it to the other side. Boom. Then you're going to carefully, whoops, slowly, carefully, like that. Make sure that there's any 
good. I'm gonna check a stick outside. Then you're gonna come over here to your foam or cardboard. You're gonna place it down right at a little bit over near the edge. Then you're gonna get your tape. You're gonna take three pieces of tape. Make sure that they're good pieces because you're gonna to hold it down. You're gonna tape this one side here. Side over here. And then one side over here. And then you're gonna take the three millimeter syringe. You can see on the on the bag. And you can just read right here, 30 milliliters. You're gonna take it out. You're gonna take your plastic tube. And then you're gonna insert it. The plastic tube will go on the outside because it's able to stretch. Then you're just gonna firmly, tightly get it in there. Just push it in. Okay, right, there you go. And then you're gonna place it next to your lift syringe right there then you're gonna tape it down with your tape don't worry too much about the tape what matters is that you secure it properly because this thing there you go you can tape it down you can as much tape as you need to make sure it's tight and secure but I'm just gonna put three because I think that's good that's a good number all right all right so for the next step we're gonna take your you know, take your two, 20 milliliters syringe this is the bag it's in 20 milliliters yeah right here and then you're gonna take out the water and the water is green for video purposes you don't need to do it green but if you want to, when you fill up your water, get some marker. If it's at school, make sure it's okay with your teacher. If it's at home, make sure it's okay with your parents. You can just dip it in there and I'll turn the water the color. Whatever you do, do not drink the water because there's marker in there. All right, so you're gonna take it in there and you're gonna pull it up to, to 20 milliliter. Make sure you don't pull any further because it will come out and just splash everything. So you're gonna go all the way to the 20, there you go, 20 milliliter. Now take a, a napkin or something, just, just wipe it on because it it'll be a little bit wet. Make sure you don't get water everywhere. And then you're gonna take the tube and then the syringe. Now, this part may be, will be a bit more difficult than the other one because of the pressure you're, because you're pretty much turning this into a pressurized tube because of the two syringes and you're just gonna force it in there best as you can. You don't want it to come off in the middle of the experiment. Just really in there. And if it's, it can make it, if it's wet, it can make this a bit harder. So you, that's why I wiped it off earlier. All right, there we go. Now, let's see. You push it down and it goes up. Voila. And now you want to pull it back. You just pull it back. All right, so for the next part, we're having a little bit of fun. We're going to add a platform to our lift. Get, your, get a piece of your tape. You're going to place it right here in the middle. Careful not to get too stuck. And when you put your platform, make sure that it does touch the other side. So you can slowly put it down. You can take the excess, tape it up top, and then for the bottom, you, for the bottom, you lift it up a bit and just make sure it's tightened. You know, just tap it around, make sure it's nice and like nicely placed. All right. 
And now you're gonna go around your house or in the classroom and find something that's not too heavy, but it has some weight to it, but not too heavy. Then you like they have some nuts here, and then you place on top, and then you're gonna see how far you can lift. Oh, that's it's struggling. But... All right. And uh, another one. That's the limit for ours. <laughs> Hopefully you can lift something maybe heavier or just as heavy. All right, hope this helps.